this video, we'll be talking about the Kruskal-Wallis H-Test. Kruskal-Wallis H-Test is the non-parametric equivalent of one-way ANOVA. If the assumptions or one of the assumptions of one-way ANOVA is not met, then we choose its non-parametric equivalent. So let's take a look at this example once again. So the study that aims to assess the acceptability of Equiper as a learning management platform given the following problems. So for, for the profile of the respondents, I highlighted strand and final grade in ETEC because this time the strand has three levels. So that is ABM, Humes, and STEM. And for the final grade, you could actually watch the video about coding part two because the final grade now had been recoded and translated into four levels so that is 75 to 79 which is fair 80 to 84 which is satisfactory 85 to 89 which is above satisfactory and 90 and above which is outstanding so we have four levels for final grade and three levels for strand. Since Cruz Calwalis is used to test if there exists a difference between three or more groups, then we will be making use of it to be able to answer SOP number three, which is, is there a significant difference in the level of acceptability of Equiper when respondents are grouped according to Again, Cruz Calwalis is applicable only to variables in the profile which are strand and final grade in ETEC. So once again, the strand is measured. Uh, the strand has three levels, which is ABM, UMS, and STEM. And for the final grade, this, this has already been translated into four levels as mentioned earlier. And as regards level of acceptability of Equiper, it's measured through a 4-point rating scale. And more often than not, when a rating scale is used, the result for the test of normality is oftentimes not normal. So thus, we're making use of a non-parametric test. So let's go to our coded data in SPSS. So particularly, we have here the strand with, with three levels coded as one two and three so I'll set the code here for the strand so I have one here for the ABM add two for the humes three for the stem and then okay and then for the gradient ETEC I have here for the fair so this is 75 to 79 I have two for the satisfactory. So this is a grade of 80 to 84. I have three for above satisfactory. So this is a grade of 85 to 89. And four for a grade of outstanding. So this is 90 and above. So now I'm ready to run the Kruskal Wallis H test. To run the Kruskal Wallis H test, all you have to do is to go to analyze and then you choose non parametric tests and then choose legacy dialog box or legacy dialogs and then choose K independent samples. By default, Kruskal Wallis is already checked here. So you just have to move your grouping variable here. So I'll choose strand, move it under my grouping variable, define its range. Since I made use of codes 1, 2, and 3, so the minimum value is 1, the maximum is 3. And let's check first for the usefulness. And click on OK. And you have here your values. So I'll be copying the mean ranks here. So I double click here, highlight the mean rank, and then go to my table template. So this is the template of my table for Cruz Calwalis. So I have strand. The three levels of strand and then the mean rank here so i'll paste the mean rank here so this time this is h value so the h value is 6.507 that's 6.51 and the sig value or the p value is 0 
So 6.51 and 0 0.04. And since the p-value is less than 0 0.05, if you could recall, so this translates to a significant findings. So once again, if the p-value is less than 0 0.05, your interpretation will be significant and your decision will be reject the null hypothesis or reject HO. So this means that the acceptability of the respondents or the students under ABM, UMS, and STEM on Equiper as a learning management platform basically differ. So as evidenced by, by a high acceptability by STEM students. So let's move on now to determining if there exists a difference between the level of acceptability of students when they are grouped according to their grades. So I have here the descriptor for the grades. I did not put the numerical equivalent anymore. So I just have to once again go to analyze non-parametric test legacy dialogues and then choose key independent samples I just have to change the strand here and change it to grade and ETEC and define the range which is 1 to 4 and then click on continue and then click on OK here and then you have here the ranks satisfactory above satisfactory and outstanding so based on the results, I do not have a data which is coded as 1. No, so I do not have a data coded as 1 here. So I'll just manipulate a bit of the data here so that I'll have value which is 1. And I'll have 4 levels. So I'll rerun my test. So that I'll have four levels. So I have four, le four levels now. I'll copy this and then paste it on my table. There you have it. The value for the uh, cruise calories that's 4.75 and 0 0.19. So you have 4.75 here. This is 0 0.19. Since the p value is greater than 0 0.05, it will be not significant. And if your interpretation is not significant, then you will be accepting your null hypothesis. So that's basically it. That's how you use your SPS or that's how you use SPSS to determine or to compute for the needed test statistic or needed values for Kruskal Wallis H test. So if you will be determining the differences relative to ease of use just have to go back to the non-parametric test here and then k independent samples and then change usefulness to ease of use for the two variables which is strand and grade in ETEC. so that's basically it for the cruz calvalis h test